bottom of the banger to you lots. It's me, your Count Slinky, and I look like a troglodyte. But I also wanted to try my hand at some new creative testing. Anyway, it doesn't fucking matter. You're here, sitting in that chair, wondering what am I gonna say? What's going on in my neck of the woods? And baby, let me tell you, the Thunderdome, the awakening. I haven't seen things this spicy in a minute. So let me explain to you about some of the things that I have seen and what might be going on. Now, if you follow CoffeeZilla or anything crypto related, maybe even NFT related, you may have heard about how things are crashing, hitting the wind. A name called BTFTX might have floated around. You may have heard that it's going down. All right. Uh, 34 something billion dollars worth of money just spent gone almost overnight Uh, and what we know so far is that a trading company that's was one of the you know top two trading companies like for cryptocurrency end up becoming insolvent essentially that they had no money to pay back people and that they couldn't give people the money that they wanted to withdraw and this kind of happened with uh the Binance guy, the head chief of uh, Binance saying, and that's the number one, you know, trading platform, pretty much saying, hey, yo, um, I'm starting to see some things that I don't necessarily think I care for. And I do think that I'm going to start trading these off. It says with pulp. You like it with pulp? Not this much. I like the one that says some pulp. What the fuck was that for? I'll write you up a list. Right? To which another partnered company with FTX was like, we'll buy them at a discount from you. To which they said, no, we're going to sell them out into the open market because why not? Lol, that's how we do stuff. Uh, this immediately became a panic kind of thing in the market. Now, I'm I'm on the front lines of this stuff because I happen to fall into the sweet, juicy nectar that is Lana NFTs. So I'll go ahead and tell you the market was shaken. First, it was like, oh, we're going to we should be fine. This should all be a OK. This is all OK. And then we heard that there was going to be Solana unstaked from a validator. The validator gives it's supposed to make it more decentralized. The more people who are validating and using nodes, the the less likely Solana is to kind of fall under or crumble. And we start to see a validator unplugged of roughly around a couple million of, of Solana. I think it was somewhere around 28 million. We were pretty terrified. We were so terrified and the market dipped, dropping from 35, 38 after a very hype announcement from Google Cloud, may I say, and all of a pl- sudden plummeted down to a 13 to a 15. Now we're going up and down between 13 to 15, with most of us thinking that we could see a lower number in the upcoming weeks. And apparently FTX was saying that they had all this money whenever they had no money, a giant glaring hole off in the balance sheet. And if you're asking who's looking at this balance sheet, well, maybe it's the girlfriend, the CEO, the girlfriend of the CEO who's handling the finances, who says you don't need basically, you just need basic math. It's simple. I don't even use my math degree. Law, bro. And, uh, she may have also had a small bit of an addiction with amphetamines, but that's not here nor there. And maybe they also had a lot of orgies in the Bahamas. But this all of a sudden led to the instant cratering of that company. And Binance was like, you know what? We're gonna come over. We're gonna buy this. We're gonna we're gonna keep things going. This is a temporary fix. And within the next day, they said, "Yeet, I'm out. Peace. I gotta go." The market's still not stabilized. Bitcoin is being dropped everywhere. And the next day, all of a sudden, FTX is being hacked or looks like they're being hacked, where it's being backdoored by a trap door that they basically left in the system just to recover losses, it would seem like. It, it's very devious, especially whenever they didn't have loss prevention tactics just to kind of save those people's money. We tend not to have things like stop losses. I think those aren't necessarily a great risk management tool trying to think of a good and we'll be fine unfortunately they hatch the keys to your wallet so they they just 
didn't have to give it to you, which is insanity. Uh, and bear in mind, not all of the crypto market is holding the coin that uh, this trading company said that it had. This trading company is saying that we had trillions of dollars, but it was literally just a box full of their own currency of which they're loaning and brokering against, uh, which seems kind of sus. Anyway, uh, since they had a majority of their own coin and people started flooding it back in and that became meaningless, they start flooding out other coins and now it's just a bloody mess. I, I'm seeing people flooring their most expensive and prized NFTs with the greatest of access and tools attached to it and flooring it for a price that they wouldn't even recognize. In fact, the price of Solana used to be $38. So it used to be like, hey, if I sold this for eight Solana, I'm getting somewhere around like 300 bucks. And now people are just chasing each other down a blind path to zero, undercutting each other until nothing is left. And it is a sight to see. Probably the saddest day in cryptocurrency that I've ever seen. People hung their heads. It, it, the full the full story is still developing, and it just seems like it's never gonna stop developing. Uh, we've got every spicy thing from the tech world to make a movie that you can think of. We've got orgies. Uh, we've got HR having sex with everybody. We got the CEO dating the, uh, the, the, the Alamedia research company that was connected to that original team. We've got uh, tweets and a uh, founder playing League of Legends just mo days after going bankrupt. Uh, and for the most part, we all kind of, anybody who looked or listened to the guy or even his girlfriend kind of would realize that this kind of had a Ponzi scheme-ish kind of feel to it, even so far going that, yes, whenever somebody explained it to him as a Ponzi, he said yes, but like a successful one, and uh, I, I just don't know what else to say, I, I'm glad that I'm here on the front lines, I've seen a lots of crazy things, I've seen founders die after a mint and then come back to life and only to die again once they found out they couldn't make money with royalties but uh i'm just here surveying looking happening to be a member of this new community and it is a fiasco if you have cryptocurrency have a ledger have a cold wallet do not leave your money on exchanges this is not financial advice and i will never give it to you but yeah this is just me looking in on the inside uh that's me in the corner that's me with solana going low that's me in the foyer eating that cheap beef chain low yeah because like everybody's down bad and broke right now but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up by saying i'm glad you guys came over and checked out this content and i look forward to making spicy content for you everyone uh, expect more smoking apparatus content coming soon. And of course, have an awesome one. Peace, and I'll see you next time.